Hello everybody, this is Aston here. So today we're gonna unbox Microsoft Surface Pro 7 um, tablet. So I got this Surface Pro pen. We'll talk about it after. And a dark gray color um, keyboard for my Surface Pro 7. It's called Signature Type Cover. We'll unbox this later on. And the main item here is a tablet itself. The configuration of this tablet I got is 10th generation Intel um, i3 processor, 128 gigabyte and 4 GB RAM. I'm not looking to play some uh, any heavy duty case. It's just our day to day um, task I would perform, but I would not recommend to get one of these configuration for if you're a heavy duty gamer or like to play a lot of games. I would recommend to go for at least i7 processor or minimum 256 gigabyte and at least 16 GB RAM if you're looking to play heavy duty games. So let's unbox it here. Make sure you guys be careful. Don't hurt yourself and keep the knife away from the tag. This is the best feeling. So here it is, Microsoft Surface Pro. And here, let's open this up. Oh, it's it's pretty tight box here. Perfect. That. Here you go. Uh, it has all these. It tells you what and the functionality is here. Power button. Here's your volume. It comes with the sticker, so it's easy to navigate. Here's your mic and a smiley Microsoft uh, option, a camera, another mic, and here a uh, charging port, and a Type C and type, uh, USB C and USB A port here. So let's begin. Here we go. I'm gonna put this on side for now. Let's see what else it's come with. So here is your. Uh, I guess Surface Pro manual here. I'm not gonna go over it. You guys can go over it in your free time. It's a lot of reading for me. And this here is the um, power brick here. Uh, let's open this up. Here you go, that's how it looks like. And let's see the wattage on that. This is 65 watt, which is uh, which uh, they had it on Microsoft Surface Pro 6. This is a standard. And his a USB, additional USB port. This is just uh, purely to charge uh, for the power. If you wanna charge your device, a phone or something. And this is the power cord here. Perfect. I'm gonna put this on a side and let's see what else is in there. And that's all I guess. So here is the surface itself here. So let's take out the plastic um, tip and make sure to keep the knife away from your tech. So we'll take out the plastic here. So here it is, nice light weight surface and here is the kickstand I guess. Um, this one here, this one, this one, kickstand you can go all the way till back but I would not recommend to go past more than this, you might break it. The hinges are are similar as the old one, Microsoft Surface 6, Pro 6. And the good thing about I like this tablet is it has a SD, micro SD card slot. So you don't have to get the regular uh, SD slot and then plug into your laptop or whatever. This one, you can just put the SD card itself. Um, let me put this back here. Let me see how does it uh, look putting it on the ground. Uh, on the flat surface if you go all the way till the end so this is the best I would recommend you guys to go should not go more than that you might end up breaking it so I'm gonna put this back 
Uh, on this side, it has a 3.5 mm jack here for your headphones. Uh, on the top, there's a power button and volume up and volume up and down. And on this side, the um, upgrade on this Surface Pro 7 is the uh, USB Type-C, which is much faster than the standard regular USB Type-A. So here is the regular old um, charging port here. And at the back, um, it has a back-facing camera and a mic here. And if you look at the front, uh, let me just put the focus on perfectly. So this one here, it has a uh, um, two mics. Uh, I mean, one mic here and one a small uh, feature on your tablet, and one front-facing camera. So pretty light. The major difference I would find from this and the previous version is the additional Type um, C port here. That's the major difference I see here. So let's go and start uh, unboxing the keyboard. Let me just put this on the side here. So that's the keyboard I got. Um, this one is dark uh, gray color, um, signature type C cover. Let's start unboxing this too. This is pretty tight. Almost there. Here it is. This one has the individual keys. I like the color, it's pretty good. The tab on the trackpad is pretty much same as the previous version. And this here nice hinge at the top. And at the back, this is the same old um concept as the previous uh, keyboard surface pro head so let's uh, let go and attach this to your Microsoft um, tablet here this is the first time I'm attaching it so it has a I'll show you guys here so if you go like this it will automatically attach to your um, surface and on the top there's one more magnet here so you put it like this yeah so here you go uh, let me put the and here it has a nice here keyboard uh, put this uh, magnet on the top here like that so have this slightly uh, raised keyboard for um, typing purposes it's pretty good pretty light that's how you close it not bad here pretty much very lightweight so let's start doing the uh, turning it on and do our setup here really quick. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys about the feature here is uh, this surface had a, a raised edge here. This is purely because of the fan. If the tablet gets heated up it, like a lot, it has a spot to um, get it out. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature. At least there's a heat sink, proper heat flow sink present. So let's start uh, turning it on for the very first time. It's I don't know if it's charged or no, it's turned on now. It's, it's taking a little bit of time here, so just wait. Um, in the meantime, I forgot to um, do a quick unbox for this um, Surface Pan. So give me a couple of seconds, let me set this up. My A language, English, yes, go ahead. Now let's get you connected to a network. I'm just gonna connect to my Wi-Fi real quick. Now type your credentials. Now just asking me to uh, set up a face recognition. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I can. You guys can do it later on if you guys want to. If you guys want to, you can just press this setup and it will rec do a recognition um, setup for you. I'm just gonna skip this for now. To set up a pin. It's asking for to set up a pin. I'm gonna set up a pin real quick. Just saying your computer comes with a one month free Office 364 home trial. I'm not gonna go ahead, do that. No, I'm just gonna select no for now. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? 
go ahead i'm just gonna accept that i don't know what she meant by like that First, choose if you want to use your voice to talk with me and other apps on this device. i'm not gonna slack and do a voice recognition now, it's annoying if you want to let microsoft and other apps use your location to help no with. if you ever lose your device here go ahead to choose if you want help um, finding it Okay, go Next, ahead. Choose whether or not you want to help Microsoft. In the meantime, it's doing its setup. I'm just gonna go open uh, the Windows Pen I got. Perfect. I'm just gonna put the knife away. So here you go. Nice. It comes with a pen here. Nice, pretty sweet and short pen. What else is in there? Nothing else is in there. So let's see. This one is pretty much the same pen as the other one. This pen doesn't roll over onto your flat surface. That's one of the cool feature I like. Let's take out this plastic here. Wow, that looks pretty good pen. It does not have that uh, hook, so you can hook it up onto your um, shirt or something. On the top, there's a rubber feature here. The pen name is here. There's that button here. I'll show you guys how you guys can connect it. So the, um, where does it go? It's at a magnetic feature here. You can either put it on this side, attach it here. Perfect, and on the other side, that's pretty good here. So you guys won't lose it. That's a good, here we go, perfect. So the setup is all done. It took a couple of minutes to do an initial setup. Now it's all perfect. Uh, and the setup, it asked me to connect to the Wi-Fi. It's all connected and running. To set up your pen, you have to go here and click that Windows Ink Workspace. Click that three dots there and go to the pen setting. So this pen takes a quadruple battery here. I'll show you where. Um, just push that up here like that. Open it up and here what it is, the quadruple battery. You can put that in in case in future you guys need to replace it. Put it back here. Uh, you guys can see that uh, green light flashing there. That means it's looking for the device to connect the pen. So let's see how I'm gonna connect it. Once the green light start uh, blinking, uh, this pop-up will open. Welcome to Surface Pen. Click Next. Which handwriting? Just set it up right. It's gonna wait for... It's asking me to press the eraser i'm gonna press it once it says let surface pair device okay go ahead do that perfect now it's showing, it's showing that it's connected fine next perfect go ahead it's asking if i can use this on all these apps done okay go ahead it's opening up the whiteboard so i can test my pen here get started got it okay it has so in here i'm just gonna um undetach the keyboard from here like that it's a magnetic you can just take it out and put, put it back afterwards and put my surface like that okay go ahead don't do it well we can test a pen here uh, here perfect good it is a nice color it's at the bottom too you can pick whatever color you like here just gonna and this is back of the pan you can use this as an eraser that's pretty cool feature perfect you can add a highlighter there uh, make smiley faces and in here you can also add an image add a text suppose if i need to add a text Mm, let's suppose right here I need to add a text uh, give me one second 
perfect i just need to attach a keyboard i can start typing and edit text so that's pretty cool feature it's pretty good for um students who write a lot of notes and this is one of the reason i got this tablet so i can um, write my notes um, on the surface yeah i'm gonna start using this surface and let's see how it goes and how it performs for me and i'll leave you guys with a review after after a couple of months how it's uh, going for me so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe all kind of stuff see you guys next time take care peace